Moses joining me on the desk for a first look at sports. Now, if you are a Chuck Wagon fan, this is a fantastic time for you because you've got the Calgary Stampede hap happening with the Rangeline Derby. Absolutely. Now we got the action closer to home here at the Lloyd X ground. So lots of action. Even better. Day two of the Colonial Fair Chuck Wagon races will get underway later this evening. But if it's anything like day one, Nairman, we're going to be in for a treat. In case you missed it, we'll send it back to Bernie Poitras, who has the call from the heat of the night on day one. Well, we sound the horn for heat number five. Looks like Ryan Baptiste is in a hurry tonight with Sun Child Law as he wheels it onto the racetrack. Sun Child Law gets out to the front of the barrel down on one. And here comes uh, from the outside, Gordon McCown, too wide. But it is uh, Ryan Baptiste and Sun Child Law who's got the lead now. Gordon McCown is trying to close ground with each and every stride. And then we drop back two wagon links, Classic Oil Field and Ken Walters. As now they thunder on down the backstretch. Sun Chow Law and Ryan Baptiste trying to hold off a hard charging Gordon McCallum who around the corner and down the lane they come to the PWM steel finish line. Ryan Baptiste looks like he's in control of this race. Watch out on the rail. Here comes Ken Walters and Classic Oilfield to the PWM steel line. They're not going to catch the uncatchable Ryan Baptiste and Sun Chow Law. Gordon McCallum runs second and Ken Walters third and he Number five, the heat of the night. Well, there you have it. Ryan Baptiste is the heat of the night winner with his time of 119.80, pushing him to the top five spot, fifth place exact. Uh, coming in with the fastest time of the night is 007 himself, Roger Moore with Restway Construction. He blazed with a time of 118.61. In second is Chris Molly, just half a second behind. Moore would also swap spots with Molly there as they go back to back. You see him at three and four. All right, to the NSRBL, the Lloydminster Twins are on a tear of late winning eight in a row. Last night, they were in unity to take on the Cardinals in the second of three straight games. After breaking out in double digits against the Lloyd Juniors, they were blanked by unity 6-0. In other action from last night, North Battleford thumped Mervyn 11-2. So we come to games, well, we have this one as well. Uh, just kind of got ahead of myself. Meadow Lake winning over the Midwest Expos, which meant Meadow Lake clinches the final playoff spot in the NSRBL. So on to tonight's action. The Border City Blue Jays are in Wilkie to take on the Brewers. The Midgets and Twins are at Legion Ballpark starting at 6.30. Twins looking to rebound after last night's loss. Elsewhere, the Mervyn Flyers face the Cardinals, who hope to make back-to-back -back wins in as many nights. And the playoff teams are set, like I mentioned. And it's now all about home field advantage for the first round of the playoffs. The Sox are looking to do that at 7-5 and, and moving up in the standings. They'll look to win out the rest of the way, starting with Standard Hill. Now the Lloydminster Juniors are looking to build off a successful regular season as they enter the playoffs, finishing with a record of 9-5. and five. A big part of the team's success has been the play of Reed Flash. Matt Schumont has more on the short stuff in this week's Superstar Next Door. Lloyd Minster Jr.'s Reed Flash has been playing baseball ever since he was a kid and says a lot of his success has to be credited from the help he got from his dad. He was the one who put me at the, at the start, pushed me all the way up from t-ball till midget, so he was pretty much the reason watching him play too when he was growing up. Um, that inspired me too. Reed has played on some successful teams during his young baseball career, including winning two provincial titles. The provincial championships are always going to be the ones that you that you like the most and are most proud of because when you win provincial championships with guys that you play uh, your whole lives growing up with and those are the most satisfying I think is when the, the, the team awards always come before the individual ones. After spending some time at Thompson Rivers University in BC, Reed spent last year playing in the WNBL with the Yorkton Cardinals and now is back with his old team and has been phenomenal at the plate, leading the juniors with a 429 batting average. I think just coming back home and having fun being at home. Uh, I've been I've been gone for a long time and had some struggles, but um, being home and being back with my family that I haven't been with in a little while, uh, that's definitely, definitely helping me at the plate, I think. The juniors have locked up a playoff spot and look poised to making a deep postseason run. Reed says he would like nothing more than to win an NSRBL title with these group of guys. When we created the team three years ago, um, all these guys on the team are guys who have played together for the last 10 years, and that's usually when you have the most fun playing is when you're playing with a bunch of your friends. Matt Schumont, Newcap Sports.